Good morning and welcome to the channel. We are at the bathroom renovation I've been working on for the last week. Unfortunately, last week, one of my last days, I recorded a video and lost all the footage except this little bit here. So we lost that whole episode of me doing the floor and the trim. But a few days have passed, the homeowners have gone ahead and tackled the painting as well as installing a vanity and toilet. We'll jump in and see where they left off. Okay, so yeah, they got the painting done, they got the lights installed, they have the one vanity in, they have the toilet back in. So they've made some good progress over the weekend. And that leaves me with just the shower to do. So it is just how we left it from the last episode, that is the tub is installed, secured. The plumbing has since been done for the shower valve and everything. It's pretty much ready to go for the cement board, the concrete board we'll be using for our tile backer. There's a little bit of prep work I have to do. I have to fasten the plumbing a little bit, as well as I think I'm gonna to have to shim out the walls just a tad because the space was so unsquare that, well, I'll show you here in a second. So you can see that the new plumbing is in place, not fully secured yet, we'll do that. But then also if you look down here, you'll see that I've shimmed pretty much the whole tub, a quarter of an inch. Say that this represents our half inch concrete board and this is our tile. You can tell that there'll be an issue with the tile hitting this flange, which flares out a bit at the bottom. So we're gonna have to bump out this wall quarter inch, which I'll just use one of these quarter inch strips of plywood that I got. Then our half inch concrete board will go on there and then our tile should be able to sit further down to the seat of the top of the tub, which is ideal. And we'll leave it a little bit raised so we can silicone that joint because these acrylic tubs have a tendency to flux quite a bit. So we wanna make sure that the tile isn't sitting directly on it. So that'll be the first thing we do today is attach these quarter inch spacers to, I think all three sides. May not need it on this side, but we'll check. That's a pretty quick process. I'll just use my 18 gauge nailer throw some pin nails into it, and then the screws that go into the concrete board will hold it in place when it goes through the concrete board, through the shim, into the stud. And it's just a matter of uh, fastening them. So I'm using Dura Rock as the tile backer. It's just a concrete board. There's a few different options you do have. Over top of it, I'll use Red Guard to waterproof it because tile is not considered a waterproof substrate anymore. So it is a bit more of a process than it used to be. Now for all the cuts, which is right over here with the faucets and the tub spout and the shower stout, I don't know what you call it. So we'll take some measurements and get that piece cut. So to measure these out, I'll just draw a diagram on a piece of something. In this case, it's a shim. So I know what I'm referencing. I'll get these measurements first. And then I'll measure off the flange of the tub that comes up. 
because that's what my towel board will sit on. So it won't change. Six and three quarter. And this top one actually won't be in this piece of concrete board. It'll be in that little tiny piece I have to piece in the top with. So don't have to worry about that one. And let me cut it. We're at my cutting station, which is right here. We'll put this side down. Six and three quarter, three and three quarter. Yeah, up here, 23 and three quarter. 13 and three quarter. Those are my marks. Cool. For the tub spout hole, I can just use a spade bit. And I'll just use a three quarter inch. And then for my shower valve hole, I'll have to find the diameter and I uh, use the jigsaw to cut that out. So I just took the, I don't actually know what this piece is called. It, I think it's a mud flange or something that's on the shower valve itself. That's that diameter of the hole I need. You could go smaller, but the idea to have such a big hole for such a small actual spout of the valve is just for future maintenance. So yeah, it is a bit bigger than it needs to be at the moment, but down the road, it's a good thing in case you do need to get access at that valve and replace the gasket or replace the whole valve itself. And uh, hopefully it fits first try. Let's try. Pack it up with a screw. Oh, you know what? I didn't cut the width of it. It's not 32 inches, it's 31. However, um, yeah, let's do this. I can cut this in place, I think. Maybe, we'll see. First, we'll see if the flange fits in the hole, though. Bingo, bango. Make sure that's in. Okay, it's in. Cut this off. So now that I've got the concrete board on, I have to mud all those seams with mortar and some aluminum mesh tape. Kind of the same idea as drywall mud where you take the seams just to provide a continuous membrane material. And then on top of that, I can do my waterproofing red guard. It's pretty easy. You just, it's adhesive, measure it out, cut it, stick it, and then push your and set into it, like so. And I just cut it. So I'll go around to all the seams, apply this, and then mix up my thin set. And then into my corners, it's a little more tricky, but you just make the 90 with your hand. Just push it in like that. And we are ready to mix up that thin set. So this part doesn't have to be too fancy, I just have to make sure that that tape is covered.
and not sitting priority at all. If there's any bumps or anything that will really interfere with my tiling. So I just want to push it in and scrape it off almost. And don't worry, there is the protective coating, the plastic film on the tub still. So I'm not gonna stain it or anything if I drop this. And that seems done. So I'll carry on, do the corners. I just want to push into that corner to fill any gap that there is. Again, wipe it clean so there's no ridges or bumps left behind. And that's the inside corner. So I'll go ahead, do all of that, and get back to you. Okay, good morning. It is the next day. Last night I applied a coat of Red Guard. After our mortar on the seam stride, I was able to apply it. I'll show you a clip now. It's a pretty easy application. It's just a matter of rolling it on, making sure you get even coverage. And then this morning I did a second coat. That's already dry, it doesn't take too long to dry, about an hour to two hours, depending on a few things. But we are pretty much ready to go to begin tiling. So that will do it for this episode. In the next episode, I'll begin the tiling. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that one.